Hello music teachers! Today I'm going to teach you how to create music graphics. Alright, so first um, you need to go to these two links. Well, the first link, not the second link yet. Um, press control and left click and it will bring you to the snipping tool and this is free. Um, and again, we're, we're using Microsoft tools, so this is a, a Microsoft tool. Um, you just click here and it will download for you or you will get the app. Um, which I'm not sure if it will even let me go to it because I already have it. Alright, yeah. Yeah, so right here you would press, you would get the get button, but I already have it. Um, so next, once you have that tool, um, to use the tool, uh, the first thing we're going to do actually is grab an image and I saved this from one of our last videos. So I'm going to, um, go down to my here. I'll close this. So we'll pretend that's not there anymore. We'll go down here and you're going to type in snip after you download it and it'll come right up. Once it comes up, you're going to left click new, and then it's going to create, your screen's going to get kind of dark and, um, you're going to have a plus sign in the center of your screen. Um, when you drag your cursor over an item like this, and then you let go, it goes to your clipboard. And in this instance, your clipboard is actually right here on your, on the snipping tool itself. You could either save this image right here if you wanted to save it. Um, if not, you don't have to save it because we can go back to our link on remove.bg, control, left click. And then we're already here and we're gonna press control V to let the image upload to remove.bg. Now, um, if you like this image, if you're satisfied with it, then you can go ahead and press download. But every once in a while, um, remove.bg I've found has issues with some of these. So sometimes I like to inspect and make sure that there's no like white spots because it is a free tool. It isn't always perfect. Um, so I'm going to see if I can create another image with you, but create one that actually has some of these issues and spots so I can show you how to use this um, even further. But for now, let's press download because this image is fine. All right, um, I'm going to put it in my downloads folder because I do not need to save this and I just want it to disappear eventually. And I'm just going to let it say image remove BG preview, but you could save it as something else by typing that in here. Okay. Already exists. Interesting. All right. So now we're going to go back to our PowerPoint. And now when I insert this image, um, and again, I'm going to go to insert to put this image in and then click on pictures, which is directly underneath insert. And then click this device and then you're going to scroll to the location where you saved it. I saved it in downloads and I'm going to click on the last image. I can see it was 452. So that's gotta be it. And I'm going to press insert. And when I press insert, I can see that I've removed the entire background. It looks pretty good, um, behind other images. So that's exactly what I wanted. Now, for example, Let's try an image that's a little tougher. All right, we're going to make some bar lines really quickly. I'm going to insert some lines. I'm going to create some bar lines really fast. All right, let's see a solid line point. Sure, four. Change it to black. All right, now I'm just gonna create a few of these. Now I'm not gonna try to make this as perfect as possible because 
I just want to show you how to do it. Um, if I was taking the time to make it perfect, um, I would. Yeah, okay, whatever. All right, so now I'm going to take these bar lines, which are a little wonky, <laughs> and I'm going to create an image from them. So I went ahead and I clicked on my snip, um, creating a little snip. I try to get it as close as I can so that I don't have too many edges. And then I'm going to go back to remove.bg, which I think is already open. Yep. I'm going to X out of the last thing I did. Press Control V to get it back up there. All right. It actually looks pretty clean. Now, one of the things that remove.bg does sometimes is they they get like white in here and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to use these tools even though this didn't it didn't actually happen. I'm going to go over to erase and restore. So when I click on that, um see this part that says magically erase and restore make sure um every once in a while this is something that turns on and so it's not actually coming soon it's already here um and it can be really annoying sometimes um so i was hoping it would do it for us so i could show you what happens um but anyways we'll say that there was some white in my picture right there that didn't get erased so i literally flip this either to restore or erase and now I can erase the white spot of the image that it left behind. Um, sometimes it's the other way around and I need to actually restore um, a part of the image because it doesn't um, completely restore the image the entire way. Sometimes the edges of bar lines it doesn't seem to see. Um, so that can be kind of annoying, but again, you'd go either erase or restore. Now, if you're noticing that, um, your object keeps going back to being fully restored, um, then, uh, check up here. Cause this section right here can sometimes say, um, turn off auto detect. And, um, when auto detect is on, sometimes it will automatically do things for you. Um, which can be kind of annoying. All right, I'm gonna download this. We'll see how it came out. See if we have any spots. I'm gonna save it as whatever. Um, insert this device. And then, there we go. Now, sometimes I like to check and see if it actually erased everything or if I didn't see it. So I'm just gonna throw up a picture and it actually looks pretty good. Oh, I can see a little white. So in that spot where I had put some white, you can see there's some leftover white from where where I did that. Um, but sometimes it's a lot, um, a lot worse than that. That's not too bad. Um, but anyways, that's just to give you an idea of you know, what um, remove.bg actually does. All right, we've created an image and now you can create images. And now this is how you really um, create different colored notes it's, um, or new notes. Um, it's to take the font um, color that you made, um, change to whatever color you want, but then to use the um, the snip tool and then remove .bg um, to take the background away so that you have a, um, a transparent file that you, now you can layer, that you can put on top of other things. All right, we're going to talk about layering in the next video. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a great night.